Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about um, another view which is an RAO call view. In the last video we talked about the LAO call view which is also known as the spider view. I would like to encourage you all to go back and look at this that video because most of the things that we will be talking in today's video will be either the same or a little different or a mirror image of the of what we discussed in the LAO caudal view or you can always go back after this video to look at the spider view and that will clarify any confusion that you might have so with that we come to that the RAO caudal view so basically going back to the picture one here just to refresh the memory we know that the if the patient is lying on a cath lab table the x-ray is in the opposite direction as compared to the view so in this case the RAO view, RAO view uh, so so right anterior oblique view which is in the caudal position so RAO caudal view the x-ray source will be in the opposite direction which will be LAO cranial knowing where the x-ray source is is very important because that way you can identify and appreciate some of the images and other coronary anatomy as well as the other mediastinal structure that we will be going over so with that we come to this cine loop on the left if nobody tells me anything about this view and they just want this they just show you this view and ask you what kind of view it is you basically have to go through one or two checklists and you will be able to know what kind of view it is so first of all look at the catheter so in this case you see the catheter is coming down below the diaphragm so it's going to be a femoral axis and you see the catheter to be kind of folded on itself and if you recall the last video we talked about the RAO views or right views the catheter is retracted folded on itself as compared to the LAO views where the catheter will be like L or it will be open like this so just quickly glancing this cine loop on the left side you can tell by looking at the catheter that it is an RAO view the next thing I want you to look at that and look at is is if you see the diaphragm so for example in picture 2 if you see a diaphragm going like this in the middle of the screen that's probably a cranial view but if you see a diaphragm somewhere in the corner as this and as in this case it's probably a caudal view so again within a few seconds you can tell that it's a femoral angiogram catheter is folded on itself it's probably RAO view and since you don't see the diaphragm in the middle of the screen it's a caudal view so RAO caudal view exactly the view that we, we will be discussing today so with that we come to the coronary anatomy so it's a very good view to look at the proximal portion of the vessels mainly the left circumflex LAD and in this case the ramus intermedius as we all know that the caudal views are good for the body of the arteries or coronary arteries but not as good for the for the the distal vessels where they can be uh, overlap they can be foreshortened but this view in itself is a very good view after the spider view once you have ruled out any significant disease in the left main or the ostium of the led or the left circumflex then moving on to the rao caudal view you can see probably the proximal segment of the vessels especially the left circumflex led and ramus intermedius in this case as we know the caudal views are good for looking at the at the left circumflex and this the artery that will be in the middle of the screen very prominent will be your left circumflex as in this case probably going in a six o'clock position and then the LAD is probably be going around like a three o'clock position and the proximal portion of the LAD as we talked about will be laid down very nicely laid out very nicely although you might not be able to see the bifurcation like the the diac branches coming off of it you might see the septal perforator 
as in this case you can see a big septal perforator coming down that kind of tells you this is a left anterior descending artery in this case the ramus intermedius is coming right at the at the fork so we call it a ramus intermedius but if it is coming like just below that fork you can call it like om branch so here the om branches will also be be laid very nicely so this is your coronary anatomy and as if you want to get more steep views and move the eye eye more towards the caudal and the right word direction you can open up these arteries even more as compared to the cine loop shown on the left with that we come to the to the diaphragm as we talked about here you you see the diaphragm in the right lower portion let's go back to this to the picture one here and as we talked about the x-ray source is in the LAO cranial view you have these x-ray beam x-ray rays coming down and once they enter the body they first come across the heart so if this is x-ray beam coming like this it's going to come across the heart first so you see the the heart borders and then it's going to enter the spine of the patient as i have shown in this picture in yellow so the spine in the RAO caudal will be on the left side as compared to the spider view where we saw that the spine was on the on the right side another clue to kind of let you know okay the spine is shifted towards the left is probably a RAO view if the spine is shifted towards the right is probably an LAO view one last thing is if you look at the heart and I have kind of put that is uh, in like with the dots and I'm outlining it you see that the heart is kind of laid out very nicely and if you see here in the left lower quadrant if this is your heart it looks like a boot shaped so what what it, it signifies is that if you want to do an LV gram for example the patient comes in in STEMI and you want to see the wall motion abnormalities the RAO views will be good for looking at the, the wall motions as compared to the LAO view as we talked about the spider view the heart would be somewhat kind of rounded and you might not see the the whole walls of the left ventricle coming in so either you can do an RAO caudal or you can do just do a straight RAO or maybe an AP crany view if you want to look at the wall motion abnormalities and if you want to see a heart like a boot shaped and not folded on itself so this was a very short talk just a refresher on the RAO caudal view kind of, kind of comparing the LAO caudal view and the RAO caudal view which as I said they bear a lot of resemblance to each other other than they have structures on the opposite side. You all have a very good day.